Welcome back to the NextGen Online video tutorial. In our previous video, we went over how to document the administration of a PPD test and then followed that up with how to document a negative test result. In this video, we're going to go ahead and skip over how to do the administration. And in this video, we're going to focus on how to document a positive test result and the steps you need to complete following that. So first off, let's just go ahead and jump into the encounter date where we administered the tuberculin skin test. And we can jump into our tuberculin skin test template. And the key difference between the positive test result and the negative one is for the negative, we were able to keep this code. However, when we have a positive test result, we need to add a new code. So go to Add Tuberculin Skin Test Assessment and you'll find the 795.51 code. Go ahead and select it. Now that we've done that, the next step is to go to this TST questionnaire. This questionnaire is going to ask for a list of symptoms the patients may have had over the past year. We're just going to say they didn't have any. And then make sure that you select this box here. Include this screening information and document then save and close. The next step is inputting our result into the encounter in which we did the PPD administration. As before, go to the right side of the screen, check the box result read, make sure your date's correct, today's 15th and it was done the 13th, so we're okay. And under interpretation, we'll put positive and we'll say the result was 20 millimeters. And remember to sum click this button submit to super bill which I'll refrain from doing because of our test environment and then you can save and close now that we've done that we want to go to plan and put in when the patient is scheduled to return in this case we'll just say one week but keep in mind that we need to order a chest x-ray the results have to get read and then we need to order a follow-up visit for the patient with a provider so it may be longer than one week more than likely the next step is to then highlight the encounter in which we put in our positive test results and then select TST result to generate our document select yes and we can see that our test was administered on the 13th the result was 20 millimeters the day read fifth the 15th and just to stay consistent we'll go ahead and change this date and we can see the survey that we completed is on there as well go ahead and save the document and exit out now that we've done that let's go back to navigation and when it was a negative test result we jumped right into finalize but since it's positive we now have to go to SOAP the reason why we go to SOAP is so that we can quickly access my plan under my plan is where we're gonna highlight this new assessment we added and we want to find these generic instructions that have been saved under this diagnosis here so right now I'm under Dr. Brehove's name, but say for example this generic set didn't appear for you. Another way to find it would be coming here to or Others Saved and finding Venice Family Clinic, which is right here, Clinic, Venice Family. You'd select OK and then you'd find the same order set. And what we want to do is order the chest x-ray. We want to select instructions for where we're going to send them to get that. We'll just say it's going to be St. John's, but it could have been Santa Monica or Westchester. Make sure to select your orders and then schedule the follow-up visit with whatever provider the patient prefers or had signed off on the document, whatever the case may be. We'll just say MD for now. And then the reason is going to be chest x-ray results, possible possible NIH treatment for antibiotics and then we'll schedule the time frame the patient can return now that we've done all that we want to make these check boxes disappear so we'll go ahead and place the order and since they disappeared we know we captured the information 
Following that, we can jump right into checkout in order to do the requisition for our diagnostic study. So we'll go to diagnostics, highlight our study, hit requisition, and this will generate our chest x-ray document. And make sure to put in the chest x-ray before you sign off on it under requisition. Go ahead and type in where you sent the patients to get this radiology study done and that could have been St. John's or Westchester, whatever the case was. And then go ahead and refrain from signing off on the document actually. The reason we, we want to not sign it is because we're going to regenerate our master IM right now by going to navigation and preview. Oh, but before we do that, while you're still in this checkout tab, now that we generated our diagnostic requisition, go here to give the patient verified and go ahead and click in yes to everything that you gave the patient. Now that we've done that, we'll go ahead to navigation and now we'll select preview in order to regenerate our master IM. And we'll notice that the check mark disappears and we should get a new flag once our master IM is regenerated. And once again, we want to go ahead and stay away from signing off on the master IM. We'll scroll down and make sure that our completed orders are now in here with our new results as well as our new assessment plan. And now that we've seen that information, we'll go ahead and exit out of here. And the next step is going to be coming to finalize and submitting this chart to the physician who signed off on our diagnostic study. So generally what you would have done after doing the requis requisition for the diagnostic study is you would have physically printed it out and walked in the charting room to find a physician to sign off on it and whoever it was that signed off is the person you want to submit this chart to. For example, we'll just go ahead and say that it was Donna Gianchristiano that we submitted this to. We'll go ahead and find their name. Here we go. We'll add the user, select OK, and this will send the chart to their inbox so they can then sign the master IM and requisition themselves. And now that we've done all that, we've completed how to document a positive TB test result.